As a millwright, I depend on ropes and rigging all the time to do my job. And if you want to get a glimpse of what I do, check out this little video clip right here. And I'll give you somewhat of an understanding. So one of the main things that we use rope for is to tie in a safety line. Now in millwright work, you usually have a number of different things that you can tie especially in repair work where you can tie on a safety line and usually those are horizontal rails be that pipe or uh, square tubing stuff of that nature that are very very solid and very rigid and so what i've done here is i've come up with a new knot in order to tie on uh, a safety line now i will say that this is a little particular to tie it's it's not the easiest knot in the world to tie but the results are well worth it so i took two of my favorite knots the spar hitch and the boom hitch and some other friction hitches and combined some of their characteristics in order to make this knot so first of all this knot is what i'm going to call the safety line hitch now what it does because of the number of the multiple wraps that it has into it, uh, this is very resistant to side to side movement. And that's, that's particularly important in the safety line because you want that static line to be set. You don't want to be walking down the rail one way or another. And because of the multiple wraps that this has, it tends to want to stay in place. The next characteristic to this one, uh, which it takes it from the spar hitch, is the fact that the main line here, which is your lifeline, when it has pressure on it, it is capturing the working end of the rope. And unlike the spar hitch, which captures it once, this one actually captures the line twice. And so anytime there's pressure on this, it the harder the, the more pressure, the harder it cinches down uh, and the less likely it is to release. Now you can go a little bit further. You could add another half hitch into here or another wrap, or you could put a stopper in this one, but I found that it's unnecessary. So let me show you how to tie this safety line hitch. Okay, to tie this knot, we're gonna start off much like we would the spar hitch. We'll go over the top of our rail, and then we're gonna cross over and go around the rail again on the opposite side. Now with the spar hitch, this is where you would just lift here and tuck it through, I'll go ahead and do that. And that would end the spar hitch, which gives you the characteristic of any time you're pulling on the lead line, it traps the working end and keeps the knot in place. So, but with this one, we want that extra friction. So let me back up here, give me just a little bit more cordage. We're gonna cross over and instead of ending there, we're gonna go ahead and make an additional three wraps. So one, two, and three. Now this is where this knot gets a little bit tricky. I kind of have to hold this here to keep my wraps together. And then I want to loosen the lead line. So the first loop there. And now what I want to do is I want to go through and then I'm going to make a full round turn and go through again and then send the cord out the back side here. Once I've got that, now I can tighten everything up. And I left a really short tail here. I should have left that a, a couple of inches longer, but you get the idea. So once this tightens down, again, you have two locks here, or, or one lock that locks down two sides of the, uh, or two places on the, on the working end of the rope. You have the multiple wraps, which resist the friction or add friction i apologize uh, to resist the side to side movement thereby keeping the knot on the rail where you put it and the last characteristic of this knot is that when it's unloaded after you don't when you don't have any load on the line this is very easy to come apart so you just lift up here grab it grab it and it all comes apart very very easily after it's unloaded so that is the safety line hitch it's a new hitch knot that i've come up with to an improvement on the boom hitch uh, by using the characteristics of the spar hitch and the pipe hitch. Hope you like this one. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.